There it is. Ah, oh, finally. I thought you knew where this place was. It's night already. We're lucky we're still alive. I got too dependent on the GPS. So this is it? Yup. Hmm. Seems like a real shithole. Oh, wait till you get inside. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Stunlock. This is Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse, Episode 5. Wow. The apocalypse really did a number on this place. Nah, it was always like this. Seriously? How can I help you folks? How do you feel about getting... Two outstanding useful members. Two exceptionally resourceful members. You know, this whole thing about using the term resource hasn't really worked out for us. I'm going to try one more time. Let's try it. If this doesn't work, I'm done trying to use resources. Two exceptionally resourceful members. What makes you resourceful? We are professional scavengers. Every animal alive is a professional scavenger these days. Yeah, right. But we're world-class scavengers. We're clean, efficient, and fast. Or how is the apocalypse treating you? <laughs> Alright, so he said something about asking questions to get the information you want. So let's start with that. We're going to ask a question. But how's the apocalypse treating you? What? Uh, how are you doing? How's... I'm not following you at all. Is he alright? Hey, I just got a bit nervous. <sighs> so you two would like to join. Hank, you're fucking this up. Shut up. Look, we know it's tremendously hard to join, but just give us all your tests, and we're going to do everything in our... Just sign here. To start the tests? You know what? Fuck the regular tests. We're above that. Why not some sheeps that blindly follow the herd? Wow. We need a- Hank, for fuck's sake. You were doing this shit on purpose the whole time? Look, I don't know what you've heard exactly, but just sign here and you're in. Bring us the loot and we will let you stay for a while. That's the whole deal. Wow, really? This is fresh. Well, great. Oh, and I'm really sorry about the sheep thing. Uh, Hank is a- I truly don't care. Can we get back to business? You know, we heard it's virtually impossible to become a member. Right. Seems like some of our members are spreading rumors that it's difficult to join. I assume they're just trying to keep the competition low. But it's starting to hurt business. What competition? I'll explain once you join. Sign here. Will do. There. Congratulations. You are now members of the guild. What? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Fuck no. Not on my watch. Am I hearing this right? Sup, roomies? Jerry, don't you even dare let these motherfuckers join. Is that a threat? No, I'm just saying. Sounds to me like you're threatening me. But they're racist. They call us beef. Is that right now? Oh, boy. Uh, it was an accident. They were robbing Hank's apartment. Uh, robbing Hank's apartment? Well, they were robbing Hank's apartment. That was after and because of your racial statements. Well, maybe, but you were also robbing me before that. Because you beat up and robbed our parent friend, Carl, before that. Oh, that's right, zombie Carl. What do we do now? That was a misunderstanding. He didn't even know what was going on. Uh, misunderstanding. That was a misunderstanding. No. We saw it. The dog injured Zombie Carl's wing. Because I thought he was a zombie. Why would you think that? Because he looks like... <laughs> he looks like a zombie more than real zombies. Wait, you just called him a zombie yourself. There you go. Wait, you just called him a zombie yourself? It's just a nickname. Carl is a good animal. And you had it coming for you for what you did to him. Look, don't listen to them. Just check out my buddy, Larry. They did this to him. <laughs> Who can love me like this? <laughs> Who can love me like this? No, I punched him in only one eye. I don't know who did the other. <laughs> but your buddy obviously has a way to get animals to beat him up. And another thing, these sickos are locking small animals up in closets. You obviously don't understand the context. Zombie Carl was going to hurt himself. He was very drunk. Fair. 
He just called him a zombie again. Now, where are the crazy ones? Or what more proof do you need? What more proof do you need? Look, look. You all seem like really horrible animals. But I'm just a receptionist here, so I'm not going to play the mediator. You know the rules, so you better learn to get along. What rules? If you harm a member, you get expelled from the guild. Good rules. I'm loving these rules. <laughs> now, if you I guys want to stay here, let me see what kind of loot you have. Here you go. Alright, so we have to give everything up. Yeah, all. We'll give them everything we got. Hopefully that's enough. That is going to be this amount of guild points. Hmm, that seems solid, right? <laughs> solid? How long will they get? They are here for the first time, so they'll get three days. And don't listen to them. This is really good first-time loot, actually. Check out our loot. Hmm. According to this list, you have earned 9,140 Good God. Points. Are you serious? What the fuck did they bring? A full barracks worth of equipment, three years of food, the Ten Commandments. Three years of food. Three years of food? Working as furniture movers before the apocalypse has its advantage. <laughs> oh, just choke me with a carrot. Now about the competition I was mentioning earlier. We have a trading connection with the government at the Zombie Free Islands. So we made a motivational program. The scavenging team with the most points will get a ticket to go there. Vacation on Zombie Free Islands? Nice. Not a vacation. It's a permanent stay. The most important people were transported to the islands first. But now as they are expanding, they are letting others join as well. You're shitting me! The most important people? Scientists, politicians, people from all important professions. Celebrities too, of course. Oh, you saying that we can be chilling on the beach with... Leonardo DiCaprio, Scarlett Johansson, and Jennifer Lawrence. I'm gonna go... Yeah, I mean, I like Leo. He's one of my favorite actors, but, uh... If I had to choose somebody to chill with... Scarlett Johansson? Sure. Holy fucking shit! Are you hearing this, Larry? Good luck getting there with your points. <laughs> I'm Ow. actually more interested in the scientists and engineers that I'd meet there. Name one. Um, Elon Musk. Wow, good one. Name another. <laughs> Art Vandelay. <laughs> That's a Seinfeld reference. <laughs> John Smith, the most common American name. Uh, we're going to go Art Vandelay because... Who wouldn't want to meet Art Vandelay? Art Vandelay. Oh, for the love of... That's George's fake character on Seinfeld. What? No, it's not. Yeah, it's George's thing. Are you sure? Alert! Alert! I'm going to need a little help. What is going on? There are two weirdos approaching. Huh? Oh, shit. Wait, he said They're weirdos. Here. Okay, here's your room key. I've got to go handle this. Uh, uh, wait a second. Uh, did you just say weirdo? Yes. Like, as in, weird animals? No, it's what zombies are called nowadays. We've been living under a rock. <laughs> what is he supposed to be? I told you the name would stick. There is no fucking way. We started using it this morning. You know how it is. Information travels at light speed in the modern world. What modern world? It's the Dark Ages again. We don't even have pigeon mail anymore. It's the Dark Ages again! Whatever. Let's go check out the room. I don't think you're appreciating the peculiarity of the situation here. Alright, come on. Let's check out our new crib. Alright, let's... Jesus. Oh, what a wreck! I'm loving it. They expect us to sleep in those beds? I just look at them. No wonder they need to bribe us with a zombie-free island and celebrities on the beach. Not like we have a chance of competing anyhow. We're lucky we even survived today. That's where you're wrong. Am I? What if we run into another bear zombie while we're not in the van? Or even worse, a, a rhino! Not even a van's gonna help us then. 
We'll handle it somehow. Also, look at the bulbs. They're huge. And I can only guess who our other competition is. It doesn't matter. They're furniture movers, and I'm a millionaire salesman. Who do you think's gonna win this race? Money is useless now, you see now, Laporide. I think that's like the uh, scientific name for a rabbit, right? Obviously the furniture movers. Obviously the furniture movers. Obviously the furniture movers. Wrong. The real power lies in the ability to get animals to do what you want. And we are about to harness that power. Well, in my case, I'll just relearn it. But you'll harness it. We've been reading your notebook the whole day, and I don't think it helped all that much. What exactly. are you talking about? Of course it helped. Let's go through the lessons again before we call it a day. Nah, I'm too tired. Now, come on, just a quick glance at him. All right, I guess it can't hurt. Nah, I'm not in the mood for thinking too much. Let's go over it again, even though I already know what it is. All right, I guess it can't hurt. Groovy. So first, we use different wording depending on how we wanted things to sound. Weirdos, if we want to make zombies sound less scary, or something like biters, if we want to scare prospects. Can you believe the animals at the guild are using weirdo too? Control your ADHD, Larry. I don't have ADHD. I just maybe had it as a kid. Let's stay on the subject. The second lesson was Hank's slip. Freudian slip? No, it's my thing. Freaking Sigmund Freud came up with that. Well, maybe we came up with it at the same time. He lived in the 19th century. Just admit you stole it. He lived in the 19th century. He lived in the 19th century. So what? So what? Are, are you stupid? Larry, your ADHD is acting up again. Can you focus on what's important here? I don't fucking have ADHD anymore. Uh, okay, can we continue? So, we used Hank's slip to ask questions and then find out essential information that helped us convince animals to scavenge for us. Actually, Freudian slip is when you let animals talk a lot, and then they accidentally slip information from their subconscious. So if you listen carefully, you can find out something that even they don't know about themselves. It's not just asking questions. That's all nice, but I told you this is not a Freudian slip. Ugh. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> well, looks like that's it. I really thought we covered more ground. We'll go through more stuff next time. Anyway, these were just some beginner principles. Once we get the more complex ones, that is where we're gonna see some mad power at play. I'm not so sure, dude. Animals are still the same, Larry. If I was able to sell them their own pants before, I could do it again. I guess I should give you some credit for making all that money selling garbage. Totally. Imagine how much loot we can get once we convince more animals like bulls to scavenge for us. Well, that would be nice. Larry, you'll see. We're gonna become freaking negotiation Jedis. We'll need to become actual freaking Jedis if we're gonna survive this insane world. Wait, but wouldn't we be more like Siths? I mean, we are getting animals to risk their lives for our gain. Oh, you have a problem with the dark side all of a sudden, my young Padawan? I think you're confusing the lore a little bit. I'm not your student. Uh, I'm not your student. I'm not your student. But no, I dig the dark side. Okay, fine. Let's study this, but let's also learn from practice. And become freaking negotiation Siths! Hell yeah! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit! You know what horror I just realized? What? There won't be any new Star Wars movies. We'll never see the ending to Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I think most people can live without that one. Which one of these is the worst thing that could happen? We'll never see the Walking Dead ending. I don't, I don't need to see another new Star Wars movie. I'm kind of done with Star Wars. All right, so we'll go with this one. We'll never see the Walking Dead ending. And that one should have ended a long time ago. Still, I wanted to see how it would end. Well, all right. Time for bed, I guess. Yeah, let's call it a day. Ah, this bed's a mess. Mine seems fine. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. 
Of course, want, Hank is fine with his here? bed. You want to switch? Why would you want to switch? Because I like a good mess, because I don't care, because I don't care. Because I don't care. Hmm. All right. It's going to be the same thing. What is this? Oh, dude, your, your bed's all wet and, and sticky. Ugh. What the fuck? Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. You see what the power of persuasion does? That's not the power of persuasion. You just lied to me. Half the power's in lying. I want to switch back. No, you need to learn a lesson. Get up, Hank. No. You're unbelievable. That's messed up. All right, Larry. I'm gonna hit the hay. Go to hell. You have a nice night, too. All right, so we're just in the dark here. Wait a minute, this is it? This is the end? Okay, so there's a part two to this game that's already out, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Because I want to know what happens. I thought there was more. Oh well. Outside of the, uh... A few jokes that I thought were a little bit... Too cringy. The rest of the game was pretty good. It was kind of fun. I just wish it was a little longer. I didn't know it was this short. Anyway, if you've made it to the end, thanks for watching this video, and uh, yeah, look for new videos to come out pretty soon. Larry. Hey, Larry. You awake? What do you want? Alright, I feel bad about this. Let's switch back the beds. Hmm. You feel bad? That does not sound right. No, it was a real jerk move. But you learned your lesson. Alright, he Hank Hank's gonna be a nice guy here. No, it was a real jerk move. No, I'm not falling for this. Falling for what? <laughs> You've been in this bed already. How can I trick you? I'm just offering a truce. Don't be paranoid like always. The first one. You've been in this bed already. How can I trick you? But why do you want to do this? Come on, Larry. He's got to be tricking him. We need to trust each other tomorrow in dangerous situations. Why do you have to overanalyze over everything? I just want to. Why do you uh, have to overanalyze everything? I just want to. I know you're up to something. Just go to sleep, Hank. Fine. Suit yourself. Anyway, this is the real ending of the video. I didn't realize there was more to it. So that's it for now. If you like the video, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.